Oh my god. What is going on? What is everybody doing? Alright, what's up guys? So, finally we're back. Uh, yeah, I've been pretty busy at work and stuff like that, so I haven't really been able to put out another video. Um, but today, we're going to be driving in my car. I mean, not exactly my car, because I don't have an Integra Type R, which I wish I did. But I have the next best thing, which is the uh, Acura RSX Type S. Um, I really do love this car. Uh, I've had one for about 10 years now. So, yeah, I've been trying to take care of it. Um, but... Anyways, there hasn't been too much done to it. It's basically stock. Um, the only things I've done is I've lowered it, got the uh, cold air intake on it, um, and exhaust, and some new wheels. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much just clean like that. Um, I would like to do a lot more to it, but uh, yeah, California. Can't really do much shit. Um, so that kind of sucks. I don't know how some of these guys get away with some of the things that they do. Uh, I really wish I knew how. Because, yeah, I would I would like to do a few more things to that car. But, unfortunately, I can't. Um, anyway, we're just going to do a uh, quick race at Scuba. And um, I think there's... I think I put like 20 cars. And we're going to start in last. And just uh, race with the car. Have some fun. Alright, guys. Enjoy. Oh my god, what is going on? What is everybody doing? Oh shit. I have no idea what just happened there. Computers in a set of course are just a little strange. I mean, this thing might not be like the fastest car in the world or anything like that, but it's definitely fun to drive. I and mean, then just hearing that crossover is just, it's amazing. I don't know. I think you just have to be in one and hear it for yourself just to know like how much fun it is. I mean a lot of people give uh, Hondas and stuff a lot of shit but of course they're not fast cars like they're just they're made to be driven. Well yeah so these cars don't have the best model. Um, <laughs> obviously we just glitched inside somebody. But anyways. Yeah man, I just really like these cars. Which is weird because... I mean, I guess it's not that weird. A lot of people my age have just gravitated towards uh, import cars. Um, I don't know, I think it's just because they're a lot more accessible and they're cheap, cheap to modify and just look good and obviously because of um, Fast and Furious and all that kind of stuff, you know, the, the import scene blew up a lot. Um, I actually grew up around muscle cars, my dad had a uh, 69 Camaro. So obviously, you know, growing up in that household, it was, you know, Chevy this, Chevy that, muscle cars only, you know, and going to the drag strip and just listening to those amazing V8s, just charge down the drag strip. So you would think I would go a lot more muscle car heavy, like in life, but honestly, I just, I can't afford it. 
I mean, I would love to have that kind of power and obviously the look of a muscle car and everything like that, but just financially, it's just not for me. Um, I can't be spending that much in gas and all that kind of shit, so. But yeah, so the next best thing was just tuner cars, like, you know, Civics, Integras, Corolla. Well, I guess the A86, not really a Corolla, but, you know, Skylines, like all those cool fucking JDM cars. And, um, so yeah. And then I got one of these cars because of my buddy, my neighbor, had one when we were growing up. Uh, and he needed a new reliable car to give me cross country when I was traveling from California to Florida. And I saw one of these for sale and said, why not? And I've had it ever since. I actually just hit 200,000 miles on the car uh, a couple weeks ago. And honestly, like, knock on wood, like, some wood. Um, She's still running strong. There's been like some few like minor issues, like the clutch master cylinder going out, having to replace that. Um, the AC, some oil leaks. But honestly, like so far, the transmission and the engine are still running strong. Still sounds great. Still cools. Um, Whoa, buddy. Hey. Somebody right next to you. Come on now. But, um... Yeah. Honestly, yeah, like, as much as I would like another car to work on, I'm, I don't think I can ever get rid of this car. I mean, I think the only way I would be able to, like... Or the only way I would want to get rid of it is to get a legitimate, like, Integra Type R. Both versions. Like, the DC2 and the DC5. Um, that would be, you know, a dream. On top of getting all the other JDM Legends and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a little quick um, video and quick race with the Integra Type R, uh, the DC5, um, and a car that I own. Um, I will be coming out with new Assetto Corsa videos. Um, I actually did start the career over again just to make it more difficult. I was tired of just not qualifying and not really trying, only just to do the last of first, which I mean are fun, but for me, I, I want a little bit more of a challenge. I want to develop my skills a little bit better, even though it is against AI. I, I do want to like get in the habit of trying to drive way more consistently, build my racecraft, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I just started over. So I'm in the process of getting back to where I was. Um, I think the next race is race five, so I'm almost back up there. And then once I do, uh, I'll start those videos again for you. But yeah. Just want to make this quick uh, little video. Um, anyways, guys, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, please, if you can. Um, but yeah, hope you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, thanks.